This is an LED version of a Hogstrite slit lamp. This was put in service in 2011. Now, an interesting feature about this uh, slit lamp is there's no replaceable bulb inside this housing. It doesn't mean, though, that it's free from lighting problems. I recently uh, had one of these where um, the rheostat would not turn on and off, and it wouldn't dim. So it wouldn't turn off at the off position, and it wouldn't change illumination and it would intermittently short out. Uh, so what I figured it was the uh, rheostat. So I replaced the rheostat and um, there's a USB cable that connects from the rheostat to the uh, transformer box. And after I replaced the rheostat, it made no difference. I then talked to my um, parts expert at uh, Lombard Instruments, and uh, he suggested troubleshooting it by borrowing one of these uh, boxes from an, an intact slit lamp, swapping it out to see if it's the uh, transformer box. And after I did that swap, I found that it made no difference. The next thing I looked at was uh, the USB cable, um, which runs from here uh, up into the transform, up into the rheostat. And so what I found was um, typically when you unplug the uh, USB cable, this indicator light goes from green to red. Um, but what I found is that if I unplugged it from this end, it stayed green. And what I figured out is that the cable was shorted out somewhere inside of it. And so then I replaced it with an exact uh, version of the USB cable. And that resolved the situation with the lighting. Um, the USB cable is over $100. The rheostat is over $200. And the other problem could be this transformer power supply box, which is over $800. So uh, even though there's no bulb to, to go out in this unit, um, there still can be potential lighting problems with um, this version of a um, Hogstrite slow lamp.